I made uh, headlines, national headlines, um, by stealing one of the most famous women in my country, Romania, from her husband. Over a million followers verified on Instagram, this girl. How did I meet her? I sent her an Instagram message. Now she gets thousands of messages every day, but very few from guys of my caliber. Very few from guys with that many followers, a blue check mark. She obviously was curious to see who I am. I made a nas- nationwide scandal by stealing this woman from her husband. So if Instagram, you have to treat it like a job. As I said in the introduction to this, why are why is Floyd Mayweather the best boxer in the world because he trains? If you want to be one of the best playboys in the world and operate on my level, you have to think daily. You have to make a conscious effort to be more attractive, more out there, more in the face of, of, of the women around you. So every day, if you see a cool scene, you see a cool restaurant, you're in a cool place, get someone to take a picture of you. Yeah, it's narcissistic. I hate pictures. I'm not even photogenic. I'm ugly in pictures. But I take these cool pictures and I put them online because I know it's money in the bank. It's going to grow with interest and it's going to pay off in the long run. So absolutely, you have to apply yourself to your online presence and nothing is more important than Instagram. There is a time and a place for dating apps. Dating apps really do work. I'm filming this on April the 11th, 2020 in the middle of a quarantine, which sucks. However, one country is not quarantined. Stockholm, Sweden. The capital of Sweden was open for business, so I decided to head over to Sweden with my brother and have a bit of fun. Play the Playboy game over in Stockholm, see how it goes. Now, if I had showed up in Stockholm, which was a lot quieter than usual, where would I meet the beautiful girls? I wouldn't really know where to hang out. I wouldn't know where to go or what to do. So I set my Tinder location. Yeah, I pay for Tinder. I pay for the premium Tinder. I set my location to Sweden. I don't bother swiping. I pay for those boost things and I have the Tinder gold to see who swipes me first. I run three or four boosts. Then I take my pick. Again, like with Instagram, my Tinder pictures are me next to my supercars, me by the pool, me looking good, having trained hard. I try to get all the attention I can from the social media and my Tinder pictures are my Instagram pictures. I then look at the best girls that have swiped me. I pick one. Her name was Philippa, absolutely beautiful girl. Now, Tinder is great for one thing and one thing only, finding the best places in the city to go. Now, years ago, if you were a playboy and you were to land in a new city, you land in Singapore, it's 1988. What you do is you get in a taxi and you tell the taxi driver, hey brother, you know, where's the coolest spot in town? Where's the, where's the, where's the hot joint? Where's the, where's the cool restaurants, the cool bars, where the pretty girls hang out? And the taxi driver would give you all the information you needed. Maybe a hotel concierge. Today, taxi drivers don't know shit. They're bitter, they're upset. They, the world has changed. The rich poor divide is wider than ever. Taxi drivers aren't going to the expensive places, but you know who knows the best places in every city? beautiful girls. That's what Tinder is for. If you use Tinder trying to get your pee-pee sucked, you're doing it wrong. You need to use Tinder to find the best places to go. Match with a really beautiful girl and say, hey, what's the best place to go in Stockholm on a Friday night? Oh, uh, what was the name of the place now? Can't remember the name, but this girl, Philippa, replies to me. Oh, it's here. I say, okay, we're going. I'm going to take you out. Bring your friends, because I was with my friends. I'm going to take you out. Let's have fun. Now, she said yes. And if she had said no, who cares? I now know the best place in town. I know where girls like her hang out. So, Stockholm all worked out exceptionally well. I end up sleeping with this girl, Philippa. She's still messaging me now. I've been home for weeks and weeks. That's what Tinder is good for. Finding the best places to hang out in town. And when you get to these places, make sure you check in on Instagram. Take a picture, tag yourself on Instagram. Because if you do that, I tag myself at the Stockholm Grand Hotel the best hotel in the city, that's where I was staying. I had three or four girls message me simply because I tagged myself at that hotel. Girls from Sweden, they all are obsessed with Instagram. Hot girls are obsessed with Instagram. And how did I find out that the Stockholm Grand Hotel was the best place in town to stay? From a chick on Tinder who I never even met. I said, oh yeah, I'm thinking I don't know where to stay. She goes, oh, the best hotel is the Stockholm Grand Hotel. I Googled it, it was, boom, booked it. Then, at the end of the night, when I was done in that club or whatever with Philippa, oh, where are you staying? The Stockholm Grand Hotel. Of course, it's the best hotel in the city. Like I knew, 
and I didn't. Oh, wow, yeah, it is the best hotel in the city. You know, I've got a killer minibar. Let's go and have some drinks. Come on, it's not late. I know everything here closes at three. That's weird, you know, in my, in, in my country, the party goes on until five. True or not, I would have used that line. Let's go. Back to the hotel. That's what dating apps are useful for. 